Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major ethnic groups in Zimbabwe and their peculiarities Zimbabwe is a country in the southern part of the African continent. Although it is almost ethnically homogeneous with one ethnic group accounting for about 80% of the population, the country holds the world record of having the highest number of official languages with 16 official languages. Now, let's meet the major ethnic groups in the country. Shona The Shona people are the most prominent ethnic group in Zimbabwe, where 80% of the population identifies as such. Shona people speak the Shona language, which has many dialects like Zizuru, Korekore, Ndao, Manyika, and Karanga. They are traditionally agricultural. Their main crops include sorghum, maize, yam, beans, banana, and groundnuts. They also keep cattle and goats which serve as food reserve in times of drought. Cattle is also a symbol of wealth and is often used to pay bright price. Sorghum and maize are combined to prepare a thickened porridge called saza, which is a popular cuisine. They also brewed their local beer, called wawa. In rural areas, the village consists of clusters of thatched mud houses. Each compound usually has four huts, one for the kitchen, one as a master bedroom, one as a hut for the boys of the family, and another for the girls. Usually there is also a small hut which is used to store grains. The Shona people are great stone sculptors. In the 1950s, Shona sculpture gained global recognition and were bought and displayed in many museums all over the world. There were sculptures of animals, birds, humans, and abstract objects. Shona arts have become something of national pride in Zimbabwe. These people also engage in pottery. Music plays a key role in the Shona society. The most important musical instruments are the drum, ngoma, and the mbira. The drums vary in size and shape depending on the genre of music they are accompanying. The mbira is the most famous Zimbabwean musical instrument. So important is this instrument that it has been incorporated into the educational sector of the country, where it is taught from the primary school level all the way to the university. The main focus of the Shona religious practice is to achieve balance between mankind and the environment. An important part of their religious practice is a rain ceremony. During the ceremony, the people call on their ancestors known as Vazimu to intercede to the high god Mwari for rain and protection from illness as well as fertility in their families. However, they must follow a moral code if their ancestral spirits are to communicate with Mwari. This code forbids murder, incest, consuming the meat of their totem animal, and the killing of some particular species of snake. This rain ceremony holds annually before crops are planted and takes place at a tree shrine. The late president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, and former prime minister, Morgan Shangirai, were both from Shona tribe. Ndebele ethnic group Ndebele people mostly occupy the Matabele land where Victoria Falls is located in Zimbabwe. They account for about 14% of the country's population, making them a distant second in terms of ethnic group size. They speak the Sindebele language which belongs to the Nguni group of Bantu languages. The Ndebele was divided into three groups namely the Zansi, Enla, and Hole. The Zansi were the upper class of the Ndebele society, the aristocrats and political elites. The Enla came next. These were people who were conquered and assimilated into the Ndebele states. The Hole occupied the lowest position but it was the largest class in the kingdom. There were two types of Hole. The first group was comprised of chiefdoms that voluntarily migrated into Ndebele settlements. 
The other group were made up of captives and young men that were supplied by the subject chiefs for the Ndebele army. By 1893, there were three times as many holy as were the Zansi and Enla combined. Before the colonial era, the Ndebele were a cattle-centered society. Goats were also kept. The most important crops grown even today include maize, sorghum, and pumpkins. Pumpkins and other vegetables are usually grown around the house. Ndebele people engage in various craft making like mat weaving, sieves, wood carving for spoons, and necklaces. They also engage in the manufacture of brass anklets and neck rings. Beadwork is a major part of all Ndebele rituals and ceremonies like childbirth, marriage, and burial. A bride may spend up to two or three years working on a piece of beadwork which she intends to present to her future in-law family. The more intricate the piece, the more she will be favored by her husband's family and respected by the community. In the same vein, a woman may spend an extended period of time on intricate beadwork to beautify funeral garments. The Ndebele people have a strong belief in the afterlife, so a great deal of attention is given to the manufacture of burial garments. Their culture was centered on certain religious rituals. The king served as the high priest of the nation, and it was his responsibility to communicate with the supernatural on problems such as droughts and epidemics. The Ndebele believed in a creator known as Nkulunkulu, who is thought of as the first human being. Nkulunkulu and his wife, Mvelengani, are said to have emerged out of a marshy place where they found cattle and grain already awaiting them in abundance. Together, they bore children to whom they passed on their culture and tradition. When they grew old, they returned to the ground where they became snakes. The Ndebele of Zimbabwe, unlike their counterparts in South Africa, do not practice circumcision initiation rites for boys and girls. Instead, an annual national religious festival called Nswala, meaning First Fruit Festival, is held. Love More Majaivana, arguably the most prominent Ndebele musician, and Peter Nlovu, a former professional footballer who currently serves as the team manager of South Africa club Mamelodi Sundowns FC, are notable Ndebele's from Zimbabwe. Other ethnic groups in Zimbabwe include Venda, Kalanga, Nambia, and Shangan. Zimbabwe also has a small population of whites, most of which are descendants of British colonists. Which have we missed out of these ethnic groups? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.